What's up guys, this is Junior from CR4200. We got a really, really cool video for you guys today. We got a recoil test that we're gonna do. So I got my wife and my daughter out. Today is family gun day uh, at the range. We're gonna shoot the 30 Super Carry and the nine millimeter. You guys are familiar, 30 Super Carry came out this year, a couple of months ago. This is 100 grain. Uh, this is nine millimeter, it's 115 grain. Same bullet, same company. Uh, close to the same grain weight as we could get. Uh, so both of these guys have only been out shooting a couple of times. So uh, as we shoot this video, neither of them know if the 9mm or the 30 Super Carry is supposed to have more recoil, supposed to kick harder. So this will be the first shot for both of them with the 30 Super Carry. And I think it'll be my daughter's first time shooting this candy too, and probably my wife. So neither of these guys have done a lot of shooting. So it should be really, really interesting to hear their comments on uh, how they felt shooting the 30 Super Carry versus the 9mm. So this is our recoil test. Uh, this is bro science. Obviously, it's not scientific as, um, as it could be, but this is uh, where the rubber meets the road. You got a couple of shooters, uh, smaller frame shooters that'll be shooting both of these. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, hear their thoughts after they uh, take shots with both of these. So I'll probably have them both take five shots with uh, each round, each each gun, uh, and uh, we'll let you guys know what they say. Shot. One more. All right, so we had uh, three different shooters take shots with the 30 Super Carry and the 9 millimeter. So could you guys tell the difference between these? Could tell the difference? Okay, so we'll go down the line. We'll go one by one. So for you, out of the Canik and the, which is 9 millimeter and 30 Super Carry, which one had the most recoil, which one had the least, and which is the same? I said Canik. Canik, the 9 millimeter feel like it had more to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Same. This one had a lot more. This one had a lot more? Okay. What about you? Uh, the Canik felt like it had a lot more, but it sits differently on the on the mm -hmm. hand. You can get more of this. of the. So which one had the most push? This one, this one had the most push. Okay. So we had three shooters. Uh, obviously, we got somebody who shoots a lot, and then we got two guys who don't shoot uh, that often. They all took shots with the 9mm and the 30 Super Carry, and uh, it was overwhelming. They all said the same thing. So let me ask you guys another question. So was it, I asked you two, since you guys don't shoot as often. So was the recoil difference, was it a little or was it substantial between the 9, nine and the 30? For me, I felt like it was a lot. A lot, so substantial. What about you? For me, it's a little bit. A little bit? Okay. So what about you? A lot different? Not so much. Not so much. Okay, but for you, it was it was a, mm -hmm. a lot different. Okay. That, that one was a lot more uncomfortable on me. Gotcha. So... There you have it, guys. Obviously, I know this isn't scientific. We don't have scales and calibra calibers, calibrators, et cetera, out here. But we do have a couple of shooters, and at the end of the day, it should be about how it feels in someone's hand and how they, they feel shooting the weapon. So uh, it was overwhelming that the, the Canik had a more recoil than the 30 Super Carry did. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. We got a, a great, great 30 Super Carry playlist. I'll put the link right here. Go check it out now. We got a bunch of other cool tests that we've done. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Junior, out.